Hi everyone, Carol from Carol's Vintage Treasures and today I have a Shop Goodwill auction and it's a little one but good things come in good in small packages. Uh, this was listed as a 295G assorted stretchy rhinestone cross flower butterfly etc ring slot and I got it for $10.99 uh, dollar let's see $3.99 shipping $2.99 handling so $17.99 for all this jewelry goodness Holly's gearing up over there. I hear her. She knows the camera's on now. But I have my spray bottle, so you better watch it, young lady. Holly is my black lab, just in case it's your first time here. And she's been doing the sling lately when the um, camera comes on. She starts making noise over there. All right. That's my packing slip. That's what it looks like inside. It's just a cute little lot of costume jewelry rings, stretch rings. And uh, yeah, that's just my invoice. Ooh, bubble wrap. We like bubble wrap. And here are the rings. Nice little lot there. I'll pull them out one by one and show you what I got here. Got marker all over my hands. I've been listing today, writing on tubs, trying to get things organized. So forgive my marker hands. Okay. Here's the first one here. Ah. I'm forgive my nails too. My nails are horrible. There's that one. Maybe I should just show you the ring and not my nails. <laughs> it's kind of like um, wings or something and rhinestones bring it up a little closer that's the first one and I don't know maybe they were trying to sell it for two dollars and it failed there's a two dollar tag on it here is the next one another little rhinestone ring show you that one and it's just a little little stretch ring somebody's got a loud thumping car going by so you may hear that here's a butterfly that's nice a little butterfly ring bring that up a little closer so you can see it and these won't go for very much but they're cute you know to have in my store so when people like to buy costume jewelry, there's a starfish ring. Let's see what else we have. Oh, here's a red blingy one. Look at that. Very big, kind of faceted. Oh, this one's worn out though. Look at that. That was well loved by somebody. Here's another cute little butterfly. You know I love my butterflies. A little stretch ring. I really should have washed my hands. I'm so sorry. Look at that. You know how it is when you get busy doing something and you just don't want to stop. And uh, then you jump into the next thing. <laughs> I got a bunch of pajamas listed on uh, Poshmark that I've had for two years. And they're brand new pajamas. And they're winter type pajamas. So those are all up and listed. But they took a toll on my hands. There's a nice little rhinestone. These appear to be all stretch rings. So I, oh, this one's, oh, I thought it was broken, but it's not. Just a little round, round one. Holly's over there chewing on her bone. 
if you hear something, which you probably do because she's just really going at it. <laughs> she just gave me the side eye. All right. A little cross. It's kind of got rough edges on it. Some of these are worn. I don't know if I said this or not, but this is from Texas. I was a little afraid opening it because you know what happened with the Texas Elvis albums. All the spiders that were inside. That scared the bejeebies out of me. There's that one. I think stretch rings are fun. They're fun to wear once in a while. There's that. This one, I was watching uh, Misty's channel, uh, Thrifter, Junker, Vintage Hunter. If you haven't watched her, you should. <laughs> She's so funny. And her dog, Maybell, was barking because she didn't like the blow dryer. And uh, Holly didn't like that. She started barking, too. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh, I know somebody that will like this. She bought my last uh, animal rings. It's not articulated like the other ones were, but it's still very cute. Let's see. There's just a little. I'm trying not to show my nails. They are horrible. I should have checked that out before I started this. There's a little heart. And this one's pretty. Some little butterflies. I love costume jewelry. I really do. This is a cool heart. a flower of some sort. My upstairs neighbors, the stompers are home too. You might hear them. There's that. Either they're getting better or I just don't notice it as much because it doesn't seem to bother me anymore. But when they start rolling something on the floor upstairs, that's just weird. It's like a metal ball sound. I have no idea what that is, but in fact, there it goes. I'm going to be quiet so you can hear. Oh, it stopped. Maybe they'll get going again. <laughs> Apartment living, right? Hey, but I'm not complaining. This is a hundred times better than where I was. Let's see, which way does this go? It's probably like that. Here's a pretty one. Oh, they haven't started it up again. Oh, this one's really pretty. Look at that. I love these Goodwill auctions. Uh, I usually will bid on something when there's no one bidding on it. And I will, you know, just let it go. Or if it's something really good and it's not being bid too high, I'll come in at the end and bid on it and try to get it. But I really... You have to be careful. You can't go crazy. You cannot go crazy on these auctions. If you can get something for a low price, it's good. And if you can sell it and get your money back and make a profit. I'm trying to stack them so you can see them. And then we'll count how many we have and figure out the cost of goods. And I'll put these up in my Etsy shop. Rings are not real big sellers for me now. I'm not sure why. But I think I have them priced pretty low. Give you a good picture here of what we have. 
fun little set. And you can always, if they're not great, you can put them in, in lots together with other rings or craft lots with um, broken jewelry because people will use those to make things with so it can be repurposed and not thrown away, which I think is really great. Oop, some of them don't want to stand up. All right. People make some really pretty artwork with, with um, craft lots. I've seen some really beautiful stuff. Do you see this one, Shannon? <laughs> she buys a lot of my jewelry. She's such a good person. She helps me out here and there. There we go. And that's what we got. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh man, I messed up. I always mess up when I'm counting. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So I paid $17.97, so we'll say $18 and 26 rings. That sounds like a country song. 18 rings, like 26 rings and $18. <laughs> uh, let's figure that out. You probably already have it figured out. Did we say 28? Oh my gosh. I think we did. We'll just do it that way. 28 rings divided by $18. $1.56 a ring. Does that sound right? $1.56. There's a little Jack Russell that goes by. Do you hear him? Holly doesn't like that dog. Oh man, I think I did it wrong. Twenty six rings, Carol. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Okay, so we have we put eighteen dollars into twenty-six rings. Oh my gosh, I can't do anything right tonight. <laughs> One more time. $18 divided by 26. Okay, I thought I did that wrong. <laughs> so it's about 69 cents a ring, which is not bad at all. And, um, you know, even if we sell each one for a few dollars, we're like double and triple in our money, quadrupling, quadrupling in some cases maybe, but not a bad lot, not the best, but not bad. 
and I think we got some pretty rings in here and pretty cool and we're out of there that's better now you can see all the prettiness so that's all I have for today I wanted to let you see this lot of rings that I got from shop goodwill it's a good way to source uh, now that I have my car though I'm going to be doing less of it unless I see something really good that I could get for not very much money that I think I can make a profit on then I might do it but I think sourcing getting out looking for things works better for me then I can see the quality and you know if I were out sourcing I probably would not have bought these rings <laughs> I mean, there are a few of them I might have, like the butterfly ones are pretty, but, you know, and I could see them in the picture, but you really can't tell the quality until they get here. So, but I'm not complaining at under a dollar a ring that you can't beat that. So I will do what I can with this lot and that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And please make sure you like, comment down below, let me know which item was your favorite, and subscribe if you haven't. I've got a lot more unboxings coming up, uh, some Timu unboxings, some, some thread up unboxings, things of that sort. So let me know what you thought. Was it worth it? Was it worth the uh, 69 cents a ring? <laughs> Let me know what you thought. That's all I have for today. If you're out looking for treasures, I hope you find everything you're looking for. And I will talk to you next time. Happy thrifting.